Hi, my name is Marcos Barros, and I will present the work entitled Early Exposure to High Sucrose Diet Increases Cardiovascular Design Acetylation in Short Chain Fatty Acids Production by Gut Microbiota in Winnet Mayo Rats. Hypercaloric and sugar rich diets are known to cause important metabolic disorders and alterations in the intestinal microbiota. Therefore, changing also the production profile of microbiota may metabolize the short chain fatty acids, acetate, propionate, and butyrate. Literature indicates that short chain fatty acids are used as a substrate for post production of protein modifications, such as acetylation, resulting in cardiometabolic alterations. In order to access that, we use male rats divided in two groups, the control group fed with the standard chow and the high sugar group fed with 25% sucrose diet, both isocaloric. After 22 weeks, the animals were euthanized and tissue samples of heart, aorta, and liver were collected for protein acetylation analysis by SDS page. Also, fecal samples were collected for protein fatty acids measurement by gas chromatography and flame ionization detection. At first, we observed that the relative concentration of acetate were increased in high sugar group, whereas butyrate was decreased, meaning a difference in the quantity of protein fatty acids production. However, when we access the absolute concentration, we still observe an expressive increase in acetate by almost a threefold change and 69.3% percent increase in butyrate, in propionate, but no changes in butyrate. This chain fatty acids results opens an interest, an interest discussion about how the elevated levels of acetate production might interfere or be incorporated into some other metabolic pathways. Mostly because we don't know for sure yet the correlation between short chain fatty acids dysregulation and some cardiometabolic physiopathological states. Even though it's safe to say that the smaller dietary changes seems to always cause an effect in the gut microbiota, therefore also modifying the short chain fatty acid production. Furthermore, when we analyze lysine acetylation in heart and liver samples, despite a tendency of increase in the high sugar groups, no significant changes were found. Meanwhile, the iota samples showed a threefold increase in high sugar group when compared to control. The protein acetylation reactions are regulated by the activity of some enzymes that we call acetylesterases. They are NADH dependent. Therefore, its mitochondrial content shows great importance in this matter, mostly for the correlation between the sugar diet and salt and alterations in lipid metabolism. In these cases, we can also find other studies with the same kind of results. However, no pattern of clear mechanisms is described yet. With that in mind, we can conclude that higher concentrations of dietary sucrose in the short chain fatty acids production profile of the gut microbiota, high sugar diet, increased total design acetylation in aorta showing cardiovascular alterations might be ascribed to high sucrose induced dysbiosis and also a potential role for added sugar in cardiometabolic disorders if precociously introduced since childhood. Thank you for having me.